So I just want to show you the colors right here. Um, this is the color sea salt and you saw it a lot in Pinterest like circa 2014. Um, it's now 2019 so maybe it looks dated but I want to show you an important lesson to learn. So um, I wanted a moody blue like Cape Cod, foggy, North Atlantic. And when I get home from work, this is what I see. I see uh, a baby boy's nursery. And because of the double story foyer that you're looking at, uh, it's a very serious baby boy nursery. So you can see that you really have to test out your colors before painting. And I just wanted to show you what sea salt looks like under lighting, like when you get home from work. Hello and welcome to my home. This is the nighttime edition of uh, the home tour using paint chips. So the name of this color on the front door is called Black Fox. It's a gorgeous dark minky brown that looks great with brass fixtures. I really love it. It took a long time to find it and it's my one of my favorite colors. If I had the guts to do it, I'd totally paint an entire room in that color. So this is the view you see when you come into the home. And this is called the hookah room. When my husband and I were first dating, he used to go to Germany a lot and he had a lot of Turkish friends and they'd smoke shisha and the hookah and good times. So we painted the ceiling uh, like a nice chocolatey brown that's called Turkish coffee. And the paintings that you're seeing are his collection from before I was in the picture. And um, they're really beautiful. A lot of them are done by vegetable dyes and he's gonna give you a little tour of it as well. So this is a very tiny little room and this is where I do my writing. I have that one bowl with a pen in it. Uh, the desk is from Ikea. The chair is from Costco. The office chair is a uh, garage sale find. Um, I have no complaints about it. And this chair, this sofa is one of two. It's part of a twin set and that is from Craigslist. The color on the wall is called celery and the blinds are by my husband. He had all these blinds made when he bought the house before I was in the picture. So if you like my house, the credit goes to him. I call this the room where we keep guests uh, till the rest of the house is cleaned up. This is called doggy daycare. This is supposed to be the formal dining room, but I have a pet peeve and the pet peeve is eating on carpet. So um, not a fan of that. Let me turn on the lights for you and you can appreciate the really beautiful color that Vinay picked. So the color is called Wall Street and it's navy blue, a really beautiful navy blue, a very grown up navy blue. So I'm just going to turn off the lights to show you what it looks like in sunlight. So this is where Spot lives. This right here is our china cabinet and I'm just gonna turn on the lights just to show you. It's actually not china, it's actually our barware. I love Manhattans, so those aren't actually martini glasses, those are actually Manhattan glasses. The one on your left are martini glasses. Um, a lot of this is just collected over time. Most of them are presents. Uh, our china pattern was June Lane by Kate Spade. And I only have one piece and it's this beautiful piece you see right here. It represents a dragon's wing. Um, that's the only piece I have. Um, and I think I have a cha champagne flute and it has the etching of a dragon in it. So thank you, Bridget, for that lovely wedding present. My husband likes Moscow mules, so you see one mug of that. Um, the two little sake cups are from Crate and Barrel. And down here, I keep extra large um, bowls and uh, carafes for drinking water and the martini set. But I was very adamant not to have a china uh, cabinet because that seems to be the one thing everybody wants to sell on Craigslist and nobody wants to buy. 
up there is our wedding invitation. So if you want to know how to display wedding invitations, I think that's a really great idea. It's nice to have a little bit of romance because when you're a minimalist, you don't want anything in your house. So um, a little bit of romance doesn't hurt. This plant uh, is going to be transplanted and this is on my to-do list. So here's my favorite little boy. This is the only room that has been KonMari'd. It's the living room. So everything in here is absolutely loved and cherished. And if it's not, it has no business being here. So let's start with the color. This color is called Cotton Whisper. Now the sun's setting and I'm doing this video with the help of these lights. So let's hope that you can see the colors I'm about to show you. The TV is old school. Uh, people are still attractive. I noticed with the new high def, nobody's attractive. Sad but true. It's old school and we're very careful of it and it's small. Um, I have this uh, phobia of big TVs. Not a phobia, it's actually a full-blown dislike. I don't like big TVs. I think they shouldn't occupy a room. And this kind of looks vintage because it's silver. Um, the little tiny house is from Target. And now I can show you what Cotton Whisper is like. This lamp is Crate and Barrel, but via Craigslist. So it was previously loved. Cotton Whisper is what I call rich people white. I don't know how else to explain it to you, except if rich people had a color white, that's what it'll look like. And the best way I can illustrate this is Candace Olsen seems to gravitate to a color similar as this. So just to tell you about favorite things, this wood carving was shipped from India and it is from way back before I was in the picture. The vase is very textured. It is a, um, a garage sale find. I'm not into marble. I find marble quite cold. But this is our only element of marble. The lobster is from Belize. And I keep like a set of books for guests. So this is about Detroit and an Ikea catalog. Just so guests can sort of see like, oh look, if I'm in Detroit, what do I do? And uh, Michigan, a uh, copy of a New Yorker and um, off the beaten path, Michigan. So, so if you're a guest and you're coming here, you are welcome to sit in this armchair, put your feet up and um, enjoy that. So I'm going to do a separate video on how I decorate for the holidays. I don't. Why? Because I'm a minimalist. Um, it's not my thing, but um, I will do a video. This painting I actually painted uh, when I first got married. I divided time into summer ho hobbies and winter hobbies. So winter hobbies include knitting and crocheting, things like that, and a lot of drinking of wine. Summer hobbies include oil painting. So that's my one and only oil painting that's complete and I'm proud of. So that's that. Um, the chairs are from Ethan Allen, before my time, as is the entertainment unit. However, everything else is Craigslist. So look for a twin. So you see that ottoman right there? There's a twin somewhere else in the house. The coffee table is my favorite piece in the entire house. It is Craigslist $70. I kid you not. What I love about it is the entire surface is clear. However, I can keep things underneath like a restoration hardware catalog or a novel that I'm reading. The sofa had to be reupholstered. Why? Because this guy started something with our pit bull and showed our pit bull how to be bad. So between the two of them, they destroyed the sofa. So it had to be reupholstered. I call this assisted living chic, um, but I find it really comfortable. And when guests come over, that's the first thing they say. Your house feels so comfortable. This is the kitchen. You've seen this many times. It warrants its own uh, tour and its own video. The farm table is from my grandfather indirectly. When he passed, he gave every grandchild a little bit of money. Some of us went to Cuba, some of us paid bills, 
and one of us bought a farm table. I have no complaints about it. My mother has lots to say about it. It's distressed wood. My mother calls it the tired table. So yeah, it has lots of bangs and dings and nicks. Um, I keep fruit outside, so if you see it, you'll eat it. And um, the curtain is by my mom. So uh, I'm not sure if you're appreciating the colors yet. Um, of what the white is like, but it is a lovely white. It's called Cotton Whisper. I think you can now, when you compare the ceiling to the wall right there, I think you can. So the, I really believe in just having two colors. So if you look at the house, basically the color is this maple floor. So I wanted another color and that is this olive green. It's called Sagaro and that is the beginning of our Christmas card collection. The artwork is original by my husband's former boss's wife. And hi Jane, thank you. I love this to this day. It's a bottle of Chianti and grapes. The kitchen is actually my domain actually. Um, I have I like modern and there's this is the only element of it. It's these backsplash. I'm going to turn on the microwave light. See if that helps you. The backsplash is a subway tile but it's in glass. Now if you don't know about glass, let me tell you about glass. It is the best surface to have in the kitchen. Don't worry about your Tuscan rustic bistro kitchen. No, it is not practical. Glass very practical. Windex and Bob's your uncle. I really believe in all surfaces clear and this is as much as I can edit and downsize. So utensils, oil, and my HelloFresh. That's it. Appliances, I don't know who they're by. I think is it GE profile for the microwave and I'm assuming the same here. My only minimalist philosophy about fridges is try to keep stuff to a minimum. So um I believe in the difference between work areas and um, show areas. This is clearly a work area. This is what I mean by work area. The sink is huge. I think I can bathe my Labrador in there. It's huge and uh, I'm not complaining. And that's the tour of the kitchen. So one of the things I really believe in is what is your view when you enter a room? So this is the view into the master bedroom, just when you enter. Now, when you look right there, you see my dog, uh, Georgia O'Keefe from New York. And for just a brief second, things look good. Usually there's a suitcase and, um, you know, some sort of work in progress. But today, this is what Stony Path I believe this is what the color is called. This is what it looks like at night. And it's a bluish green, like a watery color. And there's that orange color that I love. And it looks good. And it's really two zones. It's the rest zone and sort of the work zone. So um, there's my reading chair with the lamp and there's yoga mats and a foam roller and um, remember I told you about twins you saw that ottoman the twin sisters downstairs and this almost concludes our tour so there's the bathroom here's what I mean by vignette so this is your view into the bathroom and it looks really calm and peaceful there's a orchid it's dark now um, whirlpool tub that is never used um, that's a wine rack that I use for face towels and I color coordinate the towels so in the bathroom they in the master bathroom they are white brown and like a purpley mauve um, guest bathroom has different colors so there's no confusion and there's my system for foot care because I'm a diabetic this is one room I haven't painted and I'm sure I should um, his and her Jack and Jill sinks but I only use one side because the other side is meant for earrings and shaving my legs really um, there is my jewelry and it's been 
edited more and more, which you saw that video. See, there's a whole panel that's empty and there's gold, there's black and enamel and studs. So this is where I put on jewelry before going to work. And so I always keep that sink plugged and so I c consider a bathroom a work zone. So there's the Rowenta steamer. And that's why ba my bathroom won't look like a spa because it's meant for work. And there is the closet. I won't show you the closet, but the color in the closet is called Swiss coffee. And this concludes the minimalist house tour using paint chips. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christina Gouda, author of The Quest for the Black Fanny Drawer. Have a good night.